Down goes Fraser. Down goes Fraser. Down goes Fraser. As Howard Cosell would repeatedly say in the very first round of this unbelievable heavyweight championship match between 1964 heavyweight gold medalist and undefeated heavyweight champion Smoking Joe Frazier and 1968 heavyweight gold medalist undefeated Terror Big George Foreman in Kingston, Jamaica. I want to go through this fight but I want to go through it with you right here on the museum of the Forgotten Fistico series. Big George Foreman, born January 10th, 1949 in Houston, Texas. He stood six foot three and a half inches and weighed 212 and 263 pounds. His trainer was Dick Tackler. And Dick Sadler was a brother of Sandy Sadler, former featherweight champion of the world. Gil Clancy, Charlie Shipes, and Angelo Dundee. These were the men in the corner of Big George Foreman throughout the phases of his career. One of the biggest, strongest, hardest punches in boxing history. 1968 heavyweight gold medalist that waved a little flag in protest and part of the injustices movement. He was inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame in 2003. 1969, he boxed Charles Sonny Liston two different occasions in exhibition bouts. In that year, he would have 18 fights, five non-sanctioning bouts. 1970, August 4th, he would face George Chevalo, Canadian heavyweight champion, Madison Square Garden, and he would score TKO in three rounds. He would have seven fights in 1971, five fights in 1972. In 1973, January 22nd, he would face one of the most feared heavyweight champions of all time, Smoking Joe Frazier, Kingston, Jamaica. And he would score an unbelievable second line knockout. The referee was Arthur McCanthy, ABC host, Howard Cosell. And the ring announcer was Art Riley. Joe Frazier. Nicknamed Smoking Joe, was born January 12, 1944, in Beaufort, South Carolina. He died November 7, 2011, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He stood 5 foot 11 and a half inches and weighed 197 and 229 pounds. He was managed by Cloverley Incorporated. He was trained by Yancey Durham and Eddie Futch. He was a non stop left hook punching machine. He was inducted to the Boxing Hall of Fame in 1980 and the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1981. 1967, February 21st, he would face Doug Jones in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He would score a six-round knockout. 1968, March 4th, Buster Mathis, Madison Square Garden. And he would knock him out in 11 rounds. December 10th, Oscar Bonavena, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He would defeat him in 10 rounds. He would defeat him in 15 rounds, the 15-round bout. 1969, June 23rd, Jerry Quarry, Madison Square Garden. And he was called Technical Knockout in the seventh round. February 16th, 1970, Jimmy Ellis, Madison Square Garden. And he would knock him out with one of the most fiercest left hooks that I have seen. And I've been watching boxing for over 36 years. That was a left hook. But the Sunshine Showdown would take place in Kingston, Jamaica, January 2nd, 1973, against the Young Phenomenon, 1968 heavyweight champion gold medalist in the Olympic Games. 
Big George Foreman. Joe Frazier, 29 and 0 with 25 knockouts. He was a WBA WBC lineal champion. He stood 5 foot 11 inches and weighed 214 pounds. George Foreman was ranked number one in the heavyweight division. He was 37 and 0. All knockouts. He stood six foot three, two hundred seventeen pounds. Unbelievable specimen was Big George Foreman. And these two men would get it on in Kingston, Jamaica. Let's take a listen on a radio call to this unbelievable fight. by the rules of the Jamaican Boxing Board of Control. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. The three knockdown rule has been waived. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. The heavyweight championship of the world, if it goes to limits, they use a 10 point must scoring system. The winner of a round gets 10 points. The loser gets nine or less. An even round, they both get 10. Joe is scheduled for 15 rounds here in Jamaica. Frazier, the white front, Foreman, the red front. Oh, the crowd was misled when Joe fell back a little. It was a slip off balance. Historically, Frazier has not been a good first-round fighter. But historically, he has been a tremendous, tremendous fighter. A great champion. You saw the left hook land on Foreman. That's what he'll be working on all night. Foreman would like to keep punching and keep Frazier away from him with his punches. Joe's job to get inside. Steadily use that left hook. Foreman connected as you saw. He's a big, strong boy. He likens this fight to the same kind of problem he faced. There's another left by George. He's getting into Frazier's head. We'll find out tonight how much the Ali fight took out of Frazier, if anything. And we'll find out tonight just how good George Foreman is in punching and in taking a punch. I think he hurt Joe Frazier. I think Joe is hurt. Angie Dundee, Ali's trainer, right next to me is saying it. You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. The heavyweight champion is taking the mandatory eight count. Oh, that left is getting in there. Underneath. Underneath Archie Moore is yelling the foreman. We've got the excitement here that we look for. Frazier is dazed. He is getting hit again and again and again. The same head that was hit so often by Muhammad Ali. Frazier is dazed. You see the countdown for the first round. Foreman has not panicked. Foreman is going about his job. Foreman is all over Joe Frazier. Frazier is down again. And he may be. No, he is rising. He is dazed. He doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know where he is. Now the round is about to end. Two knockdowns in the first round of Joe Frazier. Down again. No saving by the bell. Now Joe is coming out. Adam wants to come back in a hurry. You'll not find a game of man than Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier went down three times in the first round. A caution from Arthur Mercan. Oh, he is all over Frazier again. He has Frazier in the corner. It's Frazier's knee buckled. He is about, he is down. Well, George Foreman hits smoking Joe Frazier in the back of the head. George Foreman is doing the Joe Frazier. What he did is... Dick Sadler comes on the canvas. George Foreman should be disqualified. Comes on the canvas. 
Because Arthur McCanty had warned George Foreman for the thumbing of smoking Joe Frazier. Angelo Dundee screaming to stop the fight. This is an absolute slaughter. It was a mismatch from the beginning. This fight was a slaughter from the beginning because of contrast in styles. And what's amazing is that George Foreman only weighed two pounds more than Joe Frazier. Joe Frazier was 214 pounds. George Foreman was 216 to 217 pounds. The problem was the height and the punching power. Joe Frazier was like a locomotive. He would come straight in. He didn't have the kind of bob and weave movement that he had before. Once he tasted George Foreman's jab, that locomotive stopped. And then with the fight. George Foreman was an unbelievable punching machine. So that was a fight of sunshine sundown. Sunshine Showdown, Kingston, Jamaica, January 22nd, 1973. These two men would face each other once again. Same thing would happen. This is Scrapbook Boxing Museum and the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Heavyweight Championship bouts were always the number one viewing on television. Where has that gone? On VHS. With the old time great heavyweight championship bouts. Salute to my subscribers. Salute to these great fighters. Smoking Joe Frazier and Big George Foreman. Thanks for hanging in with me.